In recent updates concerning Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's philanthropic venture, the Archwell Foundation, a significant decrease in donations has been highlighted, plunging the organization into a financial deficit of £8.7 million, equivalent to $11 million. Their annual report for 2023, accompanied by a visually impressive promotional film showcasing their charitable activities, unveils both their benevolent endeavors and a distressing financial downturn. The disclosure through a U.S. income tax return filing reveals a stark drop in donations amounting to just over £1.6 million, $2 million, in 2022, a substantial decrease from £10.3 million, $12.9 million in the previous year, reflecting a staggering reduction of £8.7 million, $11 million. The financial report indicates a striking shift from the 2021 profit of £7.1 million, $9 million to a loss of £536,357, $674,485, in 2022 due to insufficient incoming donations. The total revenue amounted to £2 million while costs reached £2.67 million. In 2022, the foundation predominantly relied on two major donors, each contributing approximately £795,210, $1 million, as opposed to a single undisclosed donor who had previously bestowed £10 million in the preceding year. This financial setback occurs against the backdrop of a turbulent year for the couple. Despite Harry's memoir, Spare, topping bestseller charts, their public favorability ratings dwindled. Their reputation was further marred by negative portrayals on popular television shows, controversies surrounding reported incidents like a New York car chase, and the termination of their lucrative podcast deal with Spotify, where they faced disparaging remarks from a high-ranking executive. Following their withdrawal from the royal family, Harry and Meghan established the Archwell Foundation, positioning it as an impact-driven global nonprofit dedicated to enacting compassionate change. While the couple refrained from drawing salaries from the foundation, the executive director, James Holt, experienced a substantial 280% pay rise, earning £180,835, $227,405 annually, including a £15,904, $20,000 bonus, compared to his initial salary of £47,641, $59,846 from the previous year. Despite the deficit incurred in 2022, the foundation still retains assets and cash reserves totaling approximately £6.6 6 million, $8.3 million, as confirmed by an Archwell spokesperson. The spokesperson defended Holt's increased remuneration, asserting the foundation's competent financial management and its ability to allocate substantial funds annually. Foundations of this stature often receive considerable initial funding, which is then allocated over several years. Consequently, significant existing reserves may curtail future fundraising efforts. In a swift response, Harry and Meghan released a video showcasing the foundation's 2023 impact, seemingly aimed at emphasizing their global engagement. The footage exhibits the couple engaging in various charitable activities, including interactions with veterans, supporting education in Nigeria, and fostering community engagement. The timing of this video release, coinciding with footage of the Princess of Wales at a baby bank with her children, raises speculation in royal circles. Brand analysts have expressed concerns about the decline of Rand Sussex following controversies surrounding Omid Scobie's book, in Dame, which criticized the royal family, implicating Kate and Prince Charles in expressing concerns about Archie's skin tone before his birth. Despite Meghan's recent signing with William Morris Endeavor, WNE, a leading talent agency, reports suggest the agency might be reconsidering their association. The glossy video presentation highlights Meghan's involvement with the Fisher House Foundation in Los Angeles, the couple's participation in mental health summits, and engagements at various educational institutions throughout 2023. The visuals also capture the couple's involvement in reconstructing a playground in Uvalde, Texas, 
following a tragic incident and their efforts to support young entrepreneurs by granting $2 million for their initiatives. Moreover, the footage showcases Megan hosting a panel discussion at the World Mental Health Day Festival, marking their inaugural in-person event for the Arcwell Foundation. In contrast, earlier footage from the Princess of Wales featured her children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, assisting in donations at a baby bank in Windsor, engaging in charitable endeavors. The accounts of their activities juxtaposed against the financial downturn reflect a challenging period for the Arkwell Foundation and the ongoing efforts by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to navigate their philanthropic pursuits amidst public scrutiny and financial constraints. Harry and Meghan have recently unveiled a 25-page impact report, complementing their video release. Meghan expressed that her motivation to engage with Archwell stemmed from her experiences within the royal family. During her time as a working member, she actively supported the Hub Community Kitchen, aiding women affected by the Grenfell Tower tragedy. Presently, she's involved with a similar initiative called the Welcome Project. According to the report, much like the Hub Community Kitchen, the Welcome Project utilizes the communal power of food to unite people. The report underlines the couple's steadfast commitment to a straightforward yet profound objective, to consistently contribute positively. Their efforts have centered on nurturing communities and offering assistance amid the ever-evolving challenges of the modern world. Notably, the Foundation has facilitated 3,176 hours of trauma-informed mental health support for individuals impacted by earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. Additionally, they've aided over 2,500 girls in Nigeria by providing menstrual products and health education. Furthermore, the couple has supported recently resettled Afghan women. While the polished video seems like an attempt to reposition Harry and Meghan on the global stage, Mark Borkowski, a seasoned crisis manager in Britain, views the situation differently. He believes that Omid Scobie's publication, In Dame, and the subsequent race controversy it sparked, have severely backfired for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Borkowski remains convinced that the publicized controversy over the Dutch translation, which named King Charles and Kate, was a publicity stunt, a claim Mr. Scobie denies. Expressing concern, Borkowski suggested that Meghan's reemergence in Hollywood isn't as successful as anticipated. He hinted at potential issues with her talent agency, WME, considering dropping her due to signs that the Hollywood industry might be growing weary of their constant presence and the accompanying negativity. He speculates that the couple's brand might face irreparable damage due to the negative public perception, partially fueled by the perceived silence from the royal family amidst ongoing criticism from the Sussexes and their associates. Nick Ede, a brand and culture expert, echoed similar sentiments likening the impact of In Game on Meghan's career to the effects of Prince Harry's memoir. He emphasized concerns that this controversy might render Meghan too hot to handle for her agency in Los Angeles, fearing potential fallout from ongoing legal disputes with family members, thus risking her and the agency's reputations. In their philanthropic endeavors, the couple has been visible at various events. They were seen at the Marcy Lab School in Brooklyn supporting education in tech for young adults of color, and also met military veterans and families at Camp Pendleton in San Diego. Furthermore, Archwell's funding via the GEANCO Foundation in Nigeria provided school supplies and period products to girls and young women. These efforts reflect Megan's personal connections, such as her bond with Nigerian athletes at the Invictus Games, where she discovered her Nigerian ancestry. The couple's commitment to causes like supporting pregnant homeless women on International Women's Day further exemplifies their dedication to charitable work. The detailed impact report and their visible engagements highlight Harry and Meghan's ongoing commitment to various causes globally, despite the swirling controversies and perceptions surrounding their public image and career paths. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, Subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.